Hi Design Cutters, hope you're doing okay. My name is Joanna from the Cotswold Chalkboards and I'm going to show you how to make a Halloween party poster using some of the resources from the Black Magic Chalk Pack which is now available on Design Cuts. Okay, here's a completed version of the poster that I'm going to quickly show you how to recreate by using some of the resources from the Black Magic Chalk Pack. First thing we need to do is open a new Photoshop document, about A4 size, and we're going to start adding our background. Your folders will probably be a little bit different to this. I've just organized these for the sake of the tutorial. And we're going to use Coffin Top, which is kind of a nice black scratched wood. And we're going to just transform that to fill the document. Then we're going to use the jack-o'-lantern background, which is a nice orange chalkboard texture. And again, just transform it so that it fills the document window. We're going to change the blend mode of that to overlay and reduce the opacity to about 60. So we get this nice orange tint to the background. Then we're going to hit and um, J to duplicate the layer, reduce the opacity to about 50 and the blend mode to screen. We're going to use this to create a gradient mask. So we get a fade from dark to light. So with that layer selected, go to the layer mask, go to the gradient tool and just make sure that the black to transparent option is selected. And from somewhere about the center, just drag a straight line up and let go near the top. And as you can see, we've got this nice black fade going on. To finish off our background, we're going to go back to our textures and select the vignette tile. And I'm going to hold down shift just to transform that without keeping the proportions. If you're using an earlier version of Photoshop, you won't need to hold down shift. You will be able to transform it just as it is. And then we're going to hit command I to reverse the colors and then change the blend mode to multiply. And if I just toggle that layer off and on, you can see the slight difference there in the edges. Then we're going to group all those layers and name it background just to keep things tidy. We're now going to get our main image focus in the middle and that's going to be done using this photo from Unsplash of a Sugar Skull Girl. And we're going to use one of the PSD versions of the frames that come with the pack. These all with, come with a layer mask already created, so it's really quick just to add your own photos to. To demonstrate, we're going to double click on the adjustment layer icon and we're going to drag and drop our photo there. Just see that we need to adjust the size slightly. And what we want to do here is add a bit of a distress texture over it. So we're going to go back to our textures, go to vintage slate, drop that onto the window. It doesn't matter that it doesn't fill the whole document. We just want it focused on the middle there. Go to the brightness contrast, up the contrast to 100 and just select that to apply it directly to the layer below and change the blend mode to screen. And you can see now our photo has got these lovely dusty textures over it. Once you're happy with that, hit save. Go back to our frame and you can see that our image has already been applied nice and neatly within the frame edges. I want to move that across slightly though. So go back to our layer here, make sure that that link is unchecked. And that means you can move the photo independently from the clipping mask. And I'm happy with the positioning there. Then to use that in our poster, we only want the layer mask here and the frame. We don't need the background because we've already got one. If we select the two layers that we want, hit Command E, that will flatten them together. And then we can just drag and drop onto our working document. Let's place that relatively centrally and towards the top. We now need to get some information on there. So let's use some of our letters from the chalk pack. Then select all those and reduce the slides slightly. And then let's just move them around to spell the word party. Okay, and then just to make sure they're evenly spaced, select them all, go up to our align tool here and make sure they're distributed centrally. And then we can move that up slightly. We're also going to group those together and we're going to duplicate that group by hitting Command J and that just makes them a little bit bolder and brighter. We're also going to add some extra text and I'm using the Brave font here, but you use whatever you have on your computer that you feel is suitable. And I'm going to use the text warp tool to create a negative arc so that it fits around the frame. So we're going for about minus 25 on a horizontal arc. And let's just move that around about the center. We'll get it all perfectly lined towards the end, so don't worry too much now. That's starting to take shape. We need some more information like when and where the party's gonna be. So let's go back to our letters and we're gonna get the numbers one and three. These Gothic numbers are being given away as a freebie for you to use on your own Halloween designs. And they've also been added automatically to the existing chalk pack. So you will get those within the pack as well. Now it's going to finish adding a few of these details.
Now that we've got all our details, we're going to add some final decorative elements using some of the illustrations that come with the pack. We're going to change the colour of these stems to a sort of dark green and you can change any of the colours of the illustrations by using the hue saturation adjustment layer, clipping it to the layer directly below and hit colourise. You'll probably need to darken it just because the starting base was quite light and I'm just going to reduce saturation slightly to keep it a little bit area. There we go. We want to make this cobweb a little subtler so we're going to change the blend mode of that to overlay, duplicate a layer and change the new one to screen and drop the opacity down to about 50% opacity and we have a slightly more subtle cobweb there. Then we're going to just duplicate those, transform, flip horizontal just to create a mirror image to place on the opposite side. Got a little spider there and then we're going to do the same effect so that it matches the cobwebs. And that's how you make a quick Halloween party poster using the resources from the Black Magic Short Pack. I hope you have a great time using them to create your own designs. Always love to see what you produce, so please do leave any examples in the comments below. Or if you have any questions, just ask and I'll be more than happy to help. <laughs>